Hey everybody, HK Sniper here. So this video is going to be about Fort Meg's Mustro Mami 2018. There is no date set up for it at the moment. I will update that when we, whenever we hear from the event, whenever they post their calendar up. Anyways, uh, kind of a real quick brief here. We are not doing World War II reenacting out there next year. It's just something we decided to do amongst the 44th Guards Rifle Division or a Soviet unit. We've been attending out there. We camped out next to 95th Rifles. We interacted with 95th Rifles a lot. We coordinated a lot of things with them. Brought each other's equipment. We had a great time. They're a fantastic group of reenactors. I know they're going to be out there next year. So if you come out as a spectator and you're interested in Eastern Front stuff, check them out. They're approachable, they're friendly, they're knowledgeable, and they would love to have you come and interact with them. And like I said, we're just not going to do Soviet next year because the public interest, at least for us, wasn't enough. We had actually zero spectators approach us as Soviets this year. And we kind of put a couple thoughts out there we voted on it and we just decided that next year we're not going to do World War II but we liked the event and there was something else we did new this year and last year I should say that worked very well and that was uh, we have formed an East German Grinz Truppen unit called Grinz Commando Nord and we are a frontier inner German border unit and we did it uh, last year people really were interested in it the public other reenactors people liked it and we had a lot of positive interactions it was hit and miss with terms of accuracy from us I had some leftover gear from Operation Eastwind some other people got their hands on some stuff real quick we had maybe two months tops that we planned this out so we didn't have a whole lot of time to gather equipment and stuff to make it right. This year we did a lot better. It wasn't 100% dead on, but we did better. Uh, next year we're looking to be pretty solid. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm really stoked about <laughs> what we're going to be representing next year. We're, we're going to look good. I mean, <laughs> I hate to brag, but um, we're going to look good. And a lot of the stuff that we're going to be using is, I want to, 99.9% .9 of the stuff we're going to be using is original stuff. So it's going to look great. Anyways, on to that topic, because that floats right into what I'm going to request here. Cold War reenactors, I'm looking at you. Cold War airsofters who have accurate impressions, I'm looking at you. If you do Western Forces or Warsaw Pax Forces, I am inviting you to come out, register for the event when registration comes open, come out and join us. Let's make a good Cold War impression set up out there at this event. There's going to be no battle, there's going to be no type of scenario going on, uh, in terms of fighting, that is. But we do plan on setting up some sort of kind of inner German border frontier type setup. It's not going to be perfect, it's not going to be accurate 100%, but we're going to make it look cool as we can. We're in discussions with the event staff, they've been helping us out a lot. They're, they've been great with us as Russia in World War II. They've been great with us so far with this communication. They love all of our ideas. We're going to be shooting some back and forth emails here in the next few months, and we're going to get some stuff set up and hopefully get some plans in place and some things solid and submitted in and that way we can really start cranking on ideas here so reenactors if you can help me out if you do cold war reenacting get in touch with me if you know people who do cold war reenacting send them this video or send them my channel get them in contact with me if you know some facebook groups forums other organizations that do Cold War, get them in touch with me. Send them this video, get them to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from them. I'd love to get them to come out. And we'll see what we can do and work some things out and we'll get some things set up. Again, 
east and west forces we really would like to see you there primarily western forces are a little bit harder to find so they would be uh, west germans united states united kingdom france etc i'd like to get some people that come out and and do that especially uh, west german border police border patrol to kind of counteract with us uh, we will be kind of in character from Saturday morning to Sunday evening when the event is over. We plan on being in character. So this is a friendly warning to all of the... Uh, there's supposed to be a pretty decent World War II presence next year. So a friendly warning to all of the uh, <laughs> World War II GIs that I'm sure will be out there. Uh, you will be treated as if you are post-war, Cold War era GIs. So you will be observed, you will be watched. If you decide to come through our checkpoint, you will be checked and verified. <laughs> it's going to be all done in character. You've been warned. <laughs> Behave. <laughs> Anyways, I'd like to get a good presence out there this year for Cold War. The public has interest in it. The event has a lot of interest in it. We've had a good interaction, a good response in the past. I will update with more information soon. This is just to get word out there. Fort Meigs, Muster and Me, Perrysburg, Ohio. It's near Toledo. Usually held on Father's Day weekend in June. I know that's probably a hard date for some people. I don't have control over that. But it's usually on that weekend. Put it on your calendar. And uh, if you do Cold War, if you're interested in Cold War reenacting, get in touch with me. Um, once I get more communication and we start getting some more clearance for the event on what we can do and where we can set up, I'll update this and we will go from there once I get more information. So again, I'd love to see you out there. I'd love to have you join us. And, uh, if you do any sort of impression timeline, this is a timeline of it. If you do any sort of impression, civilian or military, through any point of history, look into this event. Like I said, the staff is so helpful. It's very rare to see a staff that just like bends over backwards for the reenactors. I want to say almost all of them are reenactors themselves, so it it goes a long way. They know what we need. They know what we like. They know what we, what we dislike. So they are very very helpful. Fantastic event for reenactors. So, more information soon. Thanks for watching.